Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com, and today I'm going to talk a bit about information design. And as a case study, I'm going to use my newly renovated personal portfolio website. Although the techniques I'm talking about here can apply to any type of information you want, not just portfolios. Okay, so what I've got here are different categories on the home page. If I were to click on any of them, it would take me to a gallery of work, and then at the top of the gallery I could click on the thumbnails and view the pieces. Pretty straightforward stuff. But what I really want to focus on in this video is the home page. This is the sort of visual roadmap of my entire site, and it serves a couple different purposes. First, I want at a glance the viewer to be able to get a general sense for the types of stuff that I do. And that's why I decided to go with images instead of just text. So even if you don't actually look at all the galleries, you can still see a little bit of each one, and that's going to tell you something about the types of art that I make. But the layout here itself, the type of grid that I did, did not come immediately. So I'm going to go through the process and show you how I ended up at this final decision and why it went this way. This was my first idea, and I thought, oh, this looks pretty nice. I'm going to have a bunch of evenly spaced vertical bars, and it shows a little bit about my work. Well, there's a number of problems with this. The vertical format is tough. It's also visually cluttered. It's hard to see each image because they're so close to one another. But most importantly is that there's no hierarchy. Because if you remember my first design, the portfolio square was much bigger. And that's because I want you to see that. In fact, if you see nothing else, I just want you to see the portfolio. Whereas with these images, you are given the message that they are all equally important. And that can be a bit confusing. The user might not know where to start. So with this change, I made a few improvements, but the fundamental problem is still there. This design, same problem. They are a little bit easier to read, although it does take up more page space, but there's really no sense of where to start. In fact, in this case, I put the about into the layout to give it eight boxes instead of seven, and that doesn't really make any sense at all either because there are seven things that are similar, portfolio, demo reel, the art for various games, those are all bodies of work, so in that way they're similar. Well, the About page, that's just different entirely. So to make the About page one of eight equal grid squares makes that a little extra confusing because I'm saying visually that they are similar when really in content they're not similar at all. So I didn't even finish this design because I realized halfway through it just wasn't going to work. So now I'm starting to get somewhere. Now the portfolio is big. This is the carrot that you want to follow, and that's great. But I felt like the asymmetry of this layout was a little bit confusing. It also didn't give enough prominence to the demo reel, which I really want people to look at. So this one was out too. Okay, here I was really getting close. I've got portfolio and demo reel, which are big. That's good. They're also on one tier. Then the second tier, they're a little bit smaller and they're all equal. And that's good because they're all similar. Madagascar, Smite, Personal Projects, these are all individual groupings of work. Okay, cool. So I showed it to some friends, got some feedback, and of course I made a huge omission. Where's Control Paint? They said, okay, I know you make paintings, but I also know you make this website. So this is a good learning moment, because I spent a lot of time on the minutia of getting this design just right, when at the very beginning I forgot an important component. I forgot another list item that's going to change everything. So I had to go back to the drawing board once again. Now here is the final result. And this is what the website looks like right now if you were to go to it. And this is the culmination of all the ideas we talked about. Portfolio and demo reel are the most important. And then the six evenly sized grid squares below are all similar. Control Paint, Madagascar, these are all bodies of work. And then separate from all that, I have About which tells a little bit about me and about the work I've done. And then you go back to home and you see the categories of work. So hopefully this has made the design process a little bit more transparent because certainly sometimes you're trying to make things look beautiful, but sometimes what you're trying to do is to make things clear, trying to make things communicate well. So for me, the challenge was how do I create a website that's going to show them all the priority information first, and then if they have a little extra time, allow them to see the rest. And that's what information design is all about. And when you're making your own portfolio website, you're going to have this challenge on your own. 
What do you want to prioritize? What do you want to make sure people see if they see nothing else? Because remember, people are going to make a lot of decisions about you in a very short time when they look at your portfolio website. So the way that you decide to lay it out and the information design that leads them through the site is very important. So good luck, have fun, and thanks for coming to the site, guys.